Momentum for offshore wind development is picking up in our state with an international agreement this week between North Carolina and Denmark. Stakeholders in the industry are in Durham today for a Winds of Change conference at Duke. WRL climate change reporter Liz McLaughlin has been following the conversation. Liz, what did the governor and others have to say about the progress of offshore wind in North Carolina? Well, Renee, the state faces a number of challenges from infrastructure investment to port development. Uh, you can see it's pretty crowded here. The one day conference here at Duke just broke for lunch, but it's a chance for uh, utilities, for energy developers, for stakeholders and government officials to gather and talk about the practical realities of um, and the potential environmental impact of this industry here. North Carolina Governor Roy Cooper spoke this morning, emphasizing the potential economic impact of this industry and how highlighting uh, North Carolina's ambitious clean energy goals uh, as one of the first states in the southeast to put carbon reduction requirements into law in 2021. Now, North Carolina aims to get 2.4 gigawatts of power from offshore wind energy by 2030. That's a tight timeline. Duke Energy, one of the leases of those three sites under development off the North Carolina coast, says it'll be at least 10 years before those turbines are in the water and operational. Uh, so North Carolina is behind states to the northeast on this development, um, on getting contracts, securing state funding for that infrastructure and supply chain development. I asked Governor Cooper about this after his address, and here's what he had to say. I mean, we were successful getting this uh, carbon reduction legislation through the General Assembly uh, because of the economics of all of this. And so I think that we can catch up because we have a natural area to get this done. And we also have the, the great workforce and the business climate that's going to attract a lot of investment here. This industry is expected to bring $109 billion to the East Coast over the next decade. That's a big potential for economic and job growth here in the state if North Carolina can be aggressive about offshore development here. Live in Durham, I'm Liz McLaughlin. Renee, back to you. A lot to ponder as we look for other energy options here in North Carolina. Liz McLaughlin, thank you.